All right, welcome everybody to episode five of Let's Play Civilization Five. This is China. On our last episode, we founded the beautiful city of Gangzhou. Gangzhou, however you pronounce that, and we have put up our first trade route. And we're soon going to be going for the pyramids, although uh, whether we get it or not is another deal. And the thing is, we need so much money. Is we are. We will probably have the ability to buy a thing or two in the meantime. I probably could have bought this archer, but you know what? You know what? Screw it. We've come this far. Wisdom and virtue. We are going to build it. Water mills also um, is very nice. Gives you these. Uh, gives you these things. Um, the water mill, which gives you a food and production boost if it's next to a river. So that's something that we can uh, think about in a little bit. Oh, it looks another dead end. I think our explorations of this uh, continent are about to be at an end. Not forever, but until we can get um, until we can get optics and go across the water or pass through um, their territory. Okay, I think we should pick up sailing to get fishing boats. Then let's pick up bronze working and wrap up the age. I think that is an adequate thing to do. Um, all right, we got that developed. Now what I want to do is come over here and get ourselves more ivory, because I would sure, sure like to, uh, sure like to use that. You know, sure like to trade it away for um, for goodies from people. Religion founded. Oop. What do you know? What did I tell you guys? Eastern Orthodoxy. The world's first religion has been founded in Ethiopia like it always is when Ethiopia is on the map. Alright, the first thing we have to do is, since they're going to be our religious overlords, we have to go and take a look at what the religion has. So let's sort it. Okay, they get church property. Uh, that's uh, a benefit for them. Mosques. Ooh. So, what mosques do is um, they give us... It's kind of sucks that it cuts it off, but it gives us uh, three faith, two culture, and uh, one happy. And that's something that everyone can build. And we get culture from uh, pasture. So, it's going to give us faith once we have the ability to buy them. So that's in our future. That's in our future. Uh, very good. All right. Well, like I said, you know what? We might as well just poke around up here while we have them, you know? I think we need to um, see what's in our local neighborhood before we go off exploring places, although uh, it's not going to be... Not going to be too easy to get around, I think, just because the uh, borders of these seas are going to extend into the water. But at least we do now have the ability to make work boats, and work boats are always good. And because I have this city, I can build them all here and sail them down to Shanghai to um, help them uh, help them uh, get their fishing together. And that will give us uh, food for growth, which is very important. Okay, Settler. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to give the city some production focus. So with our great amounts of money, uh, let's buy a tile. Put a guy there. Take you off. Let's put you there instead. Do we have any other two productions? Yeah, we have one here. Um, uh, does that give us enough food? We're not dying. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do that because that's not only going to give us our settler a lot faster, but it's going to give us the pyramids a lot faster. So, very important that we focus on that. All right, when this worker's done, he's going to shoot over to Shanghai to get this stuff put together. Ottomans are um, protecting Vancouver. 
Wittenberg desires a trade route. Well, Wittenberg, if you if your city doesn't suck, maybe I will. Um, it's not really a priority. Also, see, religious pressure is already starting to be exerted. Not on our capital yet, but on our other two cities it is. And on Wittenberg. And probably, yep, on Byblos. So, Eastern Orthodoxy is going to be coming our way very soon. Now, if they get to settle or found a religion, it's probably going to be Islam. Because that's what they default to. Although, there's a chance that Islam might be founded somewhere else in the world. Because there are actually several civilizations that default to Islam. What are we getting our culture from? Oh, from... Uh, one of our cities is generating faith. Uh, oh, you know what it is? It's God King. That's why. So it's Beijing. It's generating us that one faith. Okay. Pressing on ahead here. I do want to hook up all these cities. Our money is starting to suck a little bit. Um, probably because I took off people from gold producing uh, tiles. That's uh, always uh, that always hurts a bit. You know what? After the settler is done, I might try to gain a little bit of food here, just so I can grow and possibly get one of these tiles. But yeah, we want to get our happies up as quickly as possible. That is a priority, especially because we are going to be settling uh, a bunch more cities, you know. Don't know what Almaty is doing. City-states don't randomly declare war on people, so at least there's that. Alright, oh, end of the world up there. Can't believe they're allies with Brazil, but they're going to lose Brazil as an ally. Oh, hi. I want your gold. Gold for ivory. Let's do it. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have made our first luxury for luxury trade. And we are as happy as pigs and shit, as the expression goes. Pardon my French. Okay. Um. All right, like I said... We're, you're going to walk over here. Hopefully there's no barbs down there because that's going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, I think, yep, Biblos is on their own. Oh, we just stepped in Biblos. Oh, well. They'll get over it. Hopefully, oh, Tem Temple of Artemis, which gives them uh, archers, I think. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But we're going to go for those uh, pyramids. I think that will be great help for us. Okay, um, you get over there because once we get optics, you can get in the water. But if it's a if it's a unit that was built before optics, you have to visit your own terrain to get that ability. Yes, let's get that declaration of friendship going, Brazil. I'm pretty sure Brazil is going to end up getting invaded by... Um, the Ottomans at some point. It just seems like something that is inevitable. All right, Brian's working. Now we can build our barracks statue of Zeus if we want it. We can have a spearman now. And we now can see where iron is. Classical era for us. All right, iron, do we have any? The answer is yes. There's two iron here. Oh, there's iron there. If we ever want to settle down there. Let's see, where else is iron? Well, that's all we got right now. But it's not the most imperative thing. Let's get optics first, and then let's get construction so we can upgrade our archers into composite bowmen. That is actually going to be very helpful. Uh, hmm. And then, like I said, I don't want to get ahead of myself too much, so we're going to just um, wait a bit before we can decide on our next, you know, our longer term tech strategy. Like I said, I'm probably going to go science this game, although I want to keep flexibility open in case I want to do other things. All right, it's saying settle here, settle there. It's, come to think of it, this is a little far away, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. Fresh water source. Jungle, good for science. If I settle, let's say I settle here. One, two, three. 
we're gonna have a nice plot you know what screw it yeah yeah let's do it come around we're still gonna get that oh I didn't say I didn't mean there I meant there and that way if we settle over here it's gonna be a little bit um, a little bit better but like I said I want to come over here we're gonna make sure we're getting as much production out of the city as we can for now uh, all right that would technically give us the same amount but with some gold um, I really should have a worker working on these hills but we need our happy so we're just gonna have to um, deal with what we got to try to make these pyramids and if you don't make a wonder that you're aiming for you do get a gold bold bonus but I really do think that the gold bonus is very insufficient for the amount of um, hammers that have been put into it. I keep wanting to say shields because that's what they were called in Sim 3. But once again, people, this is not Civ 3. Oh, no, I want you to go there, and I want you to go there. That's right. We won't have the benefit of being on a river. But this city is going to be great because it's going to have plenty of food, and it's going to have plenty of hills. And jungle and forest and everything. And we're still going to get this um, gem tile in relatively good time. All right. Uh, like I said, you fortify. Biblos seeks a new nat natural wonder. Don't hold your breath, Biblos. It's going to take a while. Uh, she completed Stonehenge, or he did rather. Um, What's Stonehenge do? I don't remember. However, we have the Cyclopedia. So we can go to, uh, we can look this up live to find out. Stonehenge. Oh, of course, faith. They want their faith. Of course, our pyramid is going to give us just a little bit of culture and two workers. So, yeah, I mean, this would have been a this would have been a good reason to have picked up the one uh, tradition, just to be able to grab that. But I don't think it's really, like I said, the priority. So, focus begin on the paper maker. We're at up here. Okay, good. We have our we're getting eleven culture per turn. That's pretty good, especially now that we have all these cities. Actually, we're gonna get more culture because. Yeah, 12. That is what liberty gives us. Monuments, wow, you're going to take forever, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to expand on the more goodies probably very soon. Yeah, this city is going to grow pretty quick, which means um, we're going to want to get our, our goodies up as quick as we can. Yeah, they're... Ethiopia is going balls to the walls with religion. We are not. I am not even going to bother building um, shrines until I need basically a. Until it becomes profitable to do so. Because we do want those mosques. And, you know, that cultural benefit is a thing that we desire. Although we'll get that naturally without needing faith. So, benefits to us. And I believe they're still the only people in this world who find a religion. Oh, most well-fed. We have the least excess food. Um, that's probably difficulty setting related. Uh, but also it's probably because um, I have fewer workers than most of these people do. We need, we really need four workers in a, instead of this side. Oh, I guess we're not going to get this city. Brazilians are coming up here. That's all right, though. Um, the four cities that we do have are excellent. All right. Um, uh, yeah, I'll let you get away with that for just a little bit longer. But once we get a new person, we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting some of these other tiles a little hard. All right. Where are you going, Brazil?
They might settle right there. It's a little close to Cape Town, but no closer than we were to these cities up here that we uh, that we ended up in. Yeah, connecting your cities with roads is very important, and it's something that we want to uh, have figured out soon. Or are they going to try to settle like this, like a gap between us? Or man, I don't know where the where they're going. Um, oh, we got optics. Nice. Which means, Mr. Scout, you can go in the water. Yay! Whether or not we'll be able to go around Ethiopia is another matter. All right, we got our gold. Oh, we we're trading for gold. That's why did. we didn't get a happy bonus. Oh, well. Um, yeah, this might be a problem for us very soon, but we're going to go to the marble. Get that hooked up. Happiness is a chronic problem for me. I have to come right out and say that off the top of the bat. I always have a problem generating enough happiness in Civ. And even when I don't go nuts with settling cities like I do here, even though it's only four. Oh, they're going back home. I think they changed their mind. Um, Alright, paper maker is done. Can we build... Um, we can eventually build a circus. We can't yet. Uh, a lighthouse is going to help us in the long run. I can build a work boat, but I can't bring it up there. So, yeah, we got shrine, but we're going to go with a lighthouse just because, um, yeah, that's going to produce, that's going to give us more food from the ocean. So, we're going to have a lot of uh, food here, which also is going to probably hurt our happiness, but, um, you know, you can't. You can't get everything you want in life. Okay, well, in uh, 10 turns, we're going to get that uh, little benefit. This will be the first city converted, probably. And once it's converted, we're going to be able to get some culture from this. Like I said, Brazil is culture. Focus a lot. Okay, where are you going, Brazil? I don't like this. Um... You know, we might be able to do something about this. Or at least try. I don't know if it will do any good, but we can at least make an attempt. Alright, Rio. Hello, Pedro. Let's discuss something. Hola. Don't settle new cities near us. Continue. Yeah, he's a little salty, but let's see if he actually listens. Because I don't think that does a lo whole lot when... when when that deal is made, but um, we can at least give it a try. Yeah, he is still near us. Yeah, I, I don't think that that request is going to amount to a hill of beans, you know, when it's all said and done. Oh, yeah, wasn't well, I going to look at Beijing? I think so. Oh. Yeah, it's not advisable to press stuff when you're waiting for... Um... Oh, God, unhappiness. Oh, God. All right. Um, no growth. Uh, where is everybody? All right, money, 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 money. Okay, this is going to do us fine while we um, get the pyramids done. Then we're going to rearrange our stuff caravan. We have to make sure if the best route for us is still the best route. Actually, no, it has changed. Uh, actually, you know what? Just because of the one science bonus, it might be a little bit better. Uh, Beijing to Rio de Janeiro. We'll build a second one from Gaozhou. Wait, is that a ship or is that a? Well, that's a ship anyway. We can't uh, can't do that just yet. Ships are generally better in the long term, so we're gonna want to build a ship. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, wait. We gotta get the suspense over. Can I get through? I think I can. I think we're gonna get through. Ladies and gentlemen, on the next episode, find out where Brazil settles their stupid city. Find out whether we get the pyramids. Find out what's on the other side of this area. All these things and so much more on the next episode of Let's Play Civ 5 China.